The Vascular Center at UM Baltimore Washington Medical Center provides care for patients with all sorts of disorders. Part of what helps doctors with their stellar treatment is the use of a one-of-a-kind robotic imaging system. We got a peek at it and spoke with the head of vascular surgery about how it's changing the game. Yeah, so this is an artery. This is the abdominal aorta. Got it. So is this, is this, this? Yep. Uh, we have a great team uh, comprised of nurse practitioners, physicians, ultrasound techs, um, and we're able to use a team approach to really comprehensively treat a patient's vascular needs. Dr. Justin Nelms is the head of that team as the chief of vascular surgery at UM Baltimore Washington Medical Center. Vascular refers to vessel or blood vessel. And so the purpose of the vascular system is to transport blood from the heart out to the tissues and the extremities where it's needed. The vascular system is comprised of arteries, which take blood from the heart to the extremities, and veins, which return deoxygenated blood back up. So the most common disease we treat is something called atherosclerosis. And you may uh, be familiar with that term, but basically it refers to a hardening or progressive narrowing of an artery um, or blockage, uh, to use a, a more simple term. Um, and that can affect any artery in the body. And depending on which arteries it affects, the symptoms can vary. As you might imagine, it tends to affect the elderly population more. Uh, as we all age, uh, our arteries gradually get uh, hardened a little bit. Um, other factors that might increase the, the risk of uh, atherosclerosis or PAD, uh, smoking, diabetes that's poorly controlled, hypertension, or family history of severe atherosclerosis. Symptoms like muscle cramps when walking can progress very quickly and, if left untreated, lead to amputation in worst-case scenarios. That's why Dr. Justin Nelm says you should talk to your primary care doctor right away if you notice anything is off. If you catch it in time, a change in diet, exercise, and behavior, like cutting out smoking and sugars, might be enough to stop the disease in its tracks and even reverse it. But if a patient comes in to see us and the disease is to a point where we would recommend surgery, we would proceed with usually a procedure called an arteriogram. And that's a procedure done in the operating room here. It's an outpatient procedure, it involves usually one or two needle sticks. And that'll show us, give us more information about exactly where the blockages are in the arteries and sometimes even allow us to treat them in the same setting with a balloon or a stent. It's done in an endovascular suite, a hybrid operating room that allows surgeons to conduct both larger open procedures as necessary, but also minimally invasive procedures like arteriograms. An arteriogram is a procedure where we gain access to the patient's blood vessels, um, and we have an um, advanced state-of-the-art machine that allows us to actually look inside the patient's blood vessels and determine what's going on. That machine is the only machine of its kind on the East Coast. Its high-tech imaging and accuracy in pinpointing the exact location of blockages has made it a game-changer for surgeons and patients. And it's put UM Baltimore Washington Medical Center's Vascular Center on the map even more. I would recommend a screening for any patient uh, over the age of 50 with at least one risk factor. And so again, those would be hypertension, smoking, diabetes, or family history of vascular disease. If you live in the area and have some concerns about your vascular health, getting answers is as simple as making an appointment. We offer free screenings to the public uh, for anyone over the age of 50 with at least one risk factor. And so if you have any questions or concerns uh, about vascular disease, you can call the number on the screen and be set up for a free screening. For more information or to make an appointment with the Vascular Center at UM Baltimore Washington Center, you can call 410-553-8300. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.